Beautiful Butterflies and this video is going to be my January wrap up. Okay y'all, I know I'm late. I'm like, I'm so, I'm so behind and it's, oh god, I had to film this while I like, felt like it. Like I literally just got home from work. I had to, like, the second I walked through the door, or this would not be happening. My laziness is really getting the best of me this year. Like, I just, oh my god, it's hard to kick it. I was supposed to film this video, like, a, a week ago. <laughs> and I kept putting it off, like, nah, I'll film tomorrow. I'll film. So I have to do it now while I feel like it, or if I wait too long, it's going to be, well, I'll just do it tomorrow and then tomorrow will never come so enough with my rambling because I said I'm trying to get my videos a little shorter because I, I started drifting into that 20 minute territory for every video and I'm, I'm trying to cut it but in the month of January I read six books three of those six were graphic novels I read a collection of poetry and then I read two full length novels well I finished one from December and then I read a whole one that month but the first book that I completed in January was A La Lira by Chantel Godori. And this is a book that I got from the author. She actually, you know, um, emailed me and asked me. It gave me an actual choice between um, two of her books. And that's the one I chose. It's a retelling of a grim fairy tale. I had never heard of this fairy tale. And it just, it was so good. What gripped me into it is the fact that the king is trying to persuade himself on his own daughter to marry her and for her to give him an heir so um yeah just from reading that part i was like yeah i gotta get this damn book but um i did a whole review on it you guys can go and check it out i think you guys should read it it was amazing i don't want to read the original fairy tale because this one was just so awesome i gave it four stars it was really amazing i'm gonna link the review in the eyes so you guys can check that out and then the second, third, and fourth book that I read last month was Rat Queens Volume 1, 2, and 3. I got carried away, people. Rat Queens wasn't even on my TBR. But I was scrolling through Hoopla, which is, a, which is a, um, it's like a digital library thing. that I, Some people, everybody library doesn't do it, but a lot of libraries do it. And you can check out books through your libraries, like ebooks and audio books and stuff like that. And so even movies, movies and CDs too, you can do on there. So um, I was just scrolling through that one. I was like, you know what, I'm going to check, check, check out Rat Queens. And that'll be like, you know, my graphic novel for the month. And then it was so fucking good. Like... Volumes 1 and 2, I gave 5 stars, and in Volume 3, I gave 4 stars, but it blew me away. I didn't think I was going to like it that much, so I'm like, no, this is going to be a victim of the booktube hype, because usually, like, if something has a lot of hype surrounding it, it's not really that good, but booktube has hyped it up so much, so I just knew this was going to be just hyped up, and it wasn't even going to be all that. But when I tell y'all, I was blown away because I didn't know that it had it was like an adult content kind of graphic novel. I didn't know that. I thought it was going to be, you know, like PG-13, you know, like just like YA kind of content in it. And when I was like, oh my God, this is blowing me away. I loved it so fucking much. It was the best. Like, I loved that so much. I was just blown away back y'all and then oh my god I just I couldn't take it I don't know what else to say about it it was so amazing I loved it it's worthy of the hype it's it, it, it's actually really really good the only reason I gave volume three a star less than volume one and two is because I didn't really like how it ended off and but I do want to continue I'm gonna read um volume four this month I do want to see where it's going to go though but I just I didn't really like how it ended but I still want to finish it off and see where things are going to go with it I'm kind of nervous about going into volume four because I've had I have heard um that volume four is just kind of just not it and and you're gonna just want to leave it off after the first three but it just i I like it so much, I want to see what volume 4 takes me. But, um, yeah, I love Rat Queens. It's worthy of the hype. Don't be afraid of it, you guys. should definitely go check it out. I love it so much. I actually want to do, like, a video, like, in, like, dressed up like D. Because I just, I loved her whole costume kind of thing. And I'm not really one to, like, really costume dress up. Unless it's, like, Halloween, because I, I love Halloween. That's my shit. But I just, I want to just do a video where I'm just, like, Maybe talking about Rat Queens is just something, and I want to just be, like, themed like her because her outfit, her costume is giving me life, people. Like, oh my god, yes. Then, the fifth book that I read is called The Attributes of Poetry by, um, Elisa Gelgut. And I just, I gave it three stars. Um, I love poetry. 
I, I read poetry all the time. I love poetry. And the big thing that I faced when I was reading this was, and I never, I, I never confronted with this ever reading poetry. This is like maybe the first time since I've started reading poetry that I've actually been confused while I was reading it. Like I just was lost and I'm like, I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't even know what the poems are for. It started off strong though. It started off strong. I was like, oh, I'm going to like this. And then just torn away from me and I'm like what the hell is going on I'm so confused and just some of the poems were just really confusing some of them were really good but some of them just left me off like what the hell is going on I don't even know what the poems were like centered around pertaining to I have no idea and um that's why I ended up getting three stars I just some it was like it was uh, it was touch and go with me some of them was really good but some of them was boring and confusing and I was just like yeah I don't like the feeling that it has on me because I love poetry and poetry never has me confused like it does some people. And so I feel like poetry is my strong point. So when I read something and it leaves me confused, I'm just like, no, no. So, I, I, no, we're going to leave that alone. Then the last book that I read this month is I Don't Belong to You by Kiki Palmer. How to Quiet the Noise and Find Your Voice. And oh my God, I love this book so much. I gave this book five stars. This is my first self-help book ever i was supposed to i had intentions in january to read a lot of self-help because i have like two of them on my shelf i have one well including this one i have one more on my shelf and i just i wanted to just start off the year positive even though i only read this one i i, I started to be all positive um i really enjoyed this book if you are a fan of kiki palmer you're gonna love this book what I liked about this book is that it took away the fear of, like, when I think about self-help, I, I feel like it's going to be somebody that claims to have everything all together and know everything and have all the answers. And they're going to be telling me, you need to do this, you need to do that, because I did this and because I did that. And that's how you're going to end up where I am. And I thought that's what this was going to be. And it really was not. She was just basically just telling you how she got from... Uh, where she was to where she is and, and not just all of the good she just plan out flat out tells you because if you know kiki you know that's how she is just just like it was just how it is all, all of the obstacles she had to get over and still is you know going through and all of the, her failures and her her um achievements her family issues her sex life just everything like re friend relationships that that fell and that she built up and it just it was amazing. It was like, if all self-help that I'm going to read is going to be like this, I think I'm really going to love the self-help genre. This is my first self-help book ever. And I love it. And I love the fact that she said she didn't want to call it a memoir or didn't want to call it just self-help. It was just so amazing. I really enjoyed all of the emojis and the quotes. And she just had a really positive vibe. Even though when you're reading some of the her struggles that she went through, just has this really positive vibe on you where it's like you really relate to her because it's relatable kiki is a millennial um she's 24 i think she, yeah she's 24 she's three years older than me so i feel like i related to a lot of what she was saying and i was just like oh my god i felt like that too at that age and i feel like that now going through some things and it just it felt really good to relate to somebody that's currently close to my age and I just was like yes it's, it's amazing I love this book I recommend this book I did a review for it because I can sit here and talk about this book for like 20 minutes but I, I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay on target here people but I definitely recommend this book you guys should definitely check out my review I'm gonna link that in the eye I also did a review on my blog I'm gonna link that down in the description in the description bar so you guys can go and check that out and see everything that I thought about this book because it was truly amazing and I mean I, I recommend this and I'm gonna end on that note so guys that is all of the books that I read in January thank you guys for watching this video oh and I did not forget happy black history month I did not forget I'm about to film my February wrap up right after I film this video because um booktube is something else. So I'm just y'all know who y'all are. I'm just I'ma leave it at that until I'm coming to the next video, people. But happy Black History Month, you know, to all of my colored people and my black people out there and all of my light-skinned people that want to sit and celebrate Black History Month with us. Thank you guys so much. And um yeah, I'ma leave that at that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.